Sorry, I've been absent-minded. But it's just that science fiction is so exciting, I lose track of time. The Master Asimov describes incredible stories to us in his books, where there are robots so real that they end up going unnoticed among humans. Can you imagine? Hello, good morning. If this was a science fiction story, anyone in this set could be a robot. It's a bit scary, right? Humans are always scared of the unknown. Therefore, John Campbell and Isaac Asimov described three laws that robots could never breach. The first, a robot can never harm a human. <laughs> Nor can it let someone suffer pain whilst doing nothing, of course. <laughs> the second, robots must obey human commands. Yes, provided they do not breach the first law. And finally the third, robots must protect their life. Provided they don't violate the first or second laws. After all, robots are machines and we can program them so they do things we want them to do. They don't have feelings, so we shouldn't suffer for them. Oh? Mm. Um, uh, sorry, f friend. I didn't want to hurt your feelings. We all know you are very sensitive. <laughs> but we need not to resort fiction to find robots. There were already robots in ancient Greece. This robot bird, for example, ran on steam. And also in China, in the 11th century, Su Song made a clock in the shape of a tower, which indicated the time with some mechanisms. And of course, nowadays as well. Most factories rely on robots on their assembly lines. It's ideal for them to do repetitive and highly accurate jobs. Humans use uh, robots as uh, work tools and... Oh. Take this. Better to use this. Much better. Um, where was I going with that? Ah, yes. I was saying that robots are at the service of human needs. It is for this reason that science fiction always imagines a future where robots rebel against humans. Where they are said have such developed technologies that they want to be their own masters. Where they will reclaim their own dignity. When that day comes, what was once hidden no longer will be. It will be the day that machines will demand territory from humans. But relax, there's nothing to worry about. After all, today this is all nothing more than science fiction. But tomorrow?